Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's Dina Calmetti here with Susan Davis of Marriage Supper of the Lamb Ministries. Susan, are you there? I am. I well, am. Welcome back to the show. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. So today's program, we're going to talk about a few different topics as it relates to these end days. And so Susan has a range of multiple Facebook pages on end time events that hold somewhat of a pattern. So Susan, can you tell us a little about your pages on Facebook? Yeah, and what I'd like to say about these pages, I think are really significant and important because I believe that overall the news and the Christian community being, you know, the churches are not discussing these things and they need to be talked about because um, these are end time signs. And if people really understood the gravity of what's going on right now around them, I think they would scoot a little closer to the edge of their seats uh, watching for the Lord. And uh, I want to just tell the audience a little bit about uh, my background and why I'm involved in this particular thing. Um, I do a project uh, called End Times News Report, which started out as email and eventually it evolved into a Facebook page. Uh, because Facebook lent itself to being able to do daily posts faster than email. But uh, the way it works is every day we get on a Facebook page, which if you look it up, it's it's just put it in your Facebook search engine and it's end times news report. Very simple. And But we do a lot of news over there every day. Uh, we collect it from media sources all over the world and other sources of what's going on. And so with my involvement in that particular project, uh, as I was telling Dina before, that um, when I noticed a trend going on with something, like I would pick up on a trend... Um, I would create a Facebook page just for that thing uh, because I realized that maybe God wanted people to see uh, the, that that was going on. And so a lot of we have several pages that are independent of the end time news report, but they are their own these. And I believe that it's important to note this because a lot of these events going on in the world are absolutely scriptural. They have scripture to back them up uh, in that God said he would do these things and they're happening right now. That's right. That's right. You have pages on floods, earth cracks, mm -hmm. sinkholes, signs in the sky. You have so many pages. And yeah, so let's, let's, if you're ready, let's talk about the sinkholes. Okay, now the sinkholes, um, that is a really big topic. Um, we started to notice, um, wow, there were sinkholes opening up all over the planet. Uh, just incredible. Some of them quite deep and others quite large. And they were uh, sinking cars, <laughs> houses, people, people being people would walk along a street and just drop into a sinkhole and never to be found again or recovered. So this is like a really serious thing. But I have to tell you that the story goes that um, years and years ago, I had a dream. Uh, the Lord gave me a dream and it was a stunning dream. In the dream, I actually saw a house and I saw it break apart and fall into a giant hole. And I also saw demons coming to the side of the hole onto the earth and at the same time. And, and I, I'm not one to remember dreams, but this one I really remembered. And when I woke up, 
I was kind of shocked by it. It was shocking. I was like, what kind of dream is this? I see a house falling into a giant hole. Well, I have to tell you, it was not very long after that dream that there was a house in Florida in which a man, uh, he was swallowed up into a sinkhole in his own bedroom. And they, they didn't recover him, by the way. They didn't get him back. Even, like, people went down there. Now, the house has been excavated. It's completely gone. But at the time, they couldn't figure out how his bedroom <laughs> exactly went down in that hole, but no other part of the house fell in. It, 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 they just couldn't understand that exactly. But um, it was odd because... Other people re were reporting very similar dreams to me. I posted this dream, and I had several people come back to me and say that they had seen the same thing in a dream. And um, so it was like confirmation. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, I believe that um, this is just uh, judgment for the earth. Uh, because we find in the Bible, there's a story about Korah in the Bible, who he and his people challenged Moses and Aaron on their authority from God. When uh, God proved that they were in charge, uh, Moses and Aaron, he punished Korah and had their family stand in front of their tents, and the earth swallowed them all up, uh, the ones that came up against Moses and Aaron. So it it was exactly uh, like, uh, you know, what's going on right now. It's, it's not like this has never happened before. It's just a form of judgment that's coming to the earth, and that's what I believe. I just want to mention one other thing quickly about the sinkholes. Uh, we uh, had a number of people uh, report that the sinkholes have to do with a faulty infrastructure, uh, in cities because they say, oh, you know, the infrastructure of cities is falling apart because of its aging and that sort of thing. But I'm here to tell you that's not the case altogether because uh, there are places out in the middle of nowhere in, in fields uh, where these things are showing up. And um, so it's not just that. It's clearly this is end times events going on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And do the earth cracks, are they what hap is that what happens before the sinkholes happen? Um, I think they're not totally related, but similar, actually. And um, I just want to throw this in to, um, for everybody to know, every one of our pages starts with the, with the words end times, and then it says sinkholes. So if you were to go to our page on uh, the sinkholes, you'd have to put in the search engine end times sinkholes, and you will find that with all of our pages. And But uh, if you go over to this page, uh, this is what I tell people. Um, the pictures, we have uh, so many posts with their articles and stories from all over the world. In fact, I want to just add this, that it's not just uh, limited to uh, metro areas or uh, country areas. It's all over the world, all continents, and it doesn't matter if it's city or outside the city. Uh, this is going on. And... Um, the thing about the pages that I like so much is the pictures don't lie. I mean, you can tell people these things are going on, but the pictures don't lie. And so if you go over to this particular page and scroll down, uh, you're going to see some pretty fantastic things. And I'll make sure to leave a link for you guys below this video. And you can also, I'll go ahead and put a link on the screen so you'll know where to find it. But yeah, really good resources for you all to go and check out. And if you want to do a little bit more reading on it, awesome resources. Yeah, and I really like to ask people to not only visit these pages, uh, but to also share them with other people. They account for hours and hours of data collection um, 
for the purpose of educating the Christian community and to also uh, be used as an evangelist outreach tool. Uh, you know, when people go out and they tell their family members, hey, it's time to be ready and watch for the Lord. And people say, oh, no, it's not that time. Well, these are resources that uh, we have provided for people to say, yeah, it is time. Look at these pictures and look at these events. And uh, we understand people are busy and they don't have time to collect all this data, but we have done it for you. And so, you know, there's no charge for these services. We don't ask for um, donations or anything. We just ask for people to know to share uh, these links. Yeah, you you can be surprised when you share it. I don't know. A lot of people don't have their profiles on uh, public. But um, there might be somebody on your friends list that that was the one thing that they needed to see before they turned to Christ in mm-hmm. these last days. So, you exactly. know, do the work of an evangelist and, you know, uh, share these and, you know, share the scripture that goes with it. And, uh, and let's, let's wake up the world, you guys. People are sleeping and they need to be awake because Jesus is coming. These signs are exactly. all around us. Exactly. So, um, Susan, um, what about landslides? What's up okay, with that? Okay, well, yeah, we have a page called um, End Times Landslides. And I'll tell you how this particular page came about. I have to tell you, I was preparing a presentation that I was going to be doing for uh, on end time signs and things going on in the world. And I happened to go to the USGS site, which is the United States Geological Survey, and I was checking some data out there, and I was shocked because what I saw was there was an uptick of landslides that was unbelievable. Um, they were saying that from between 1996 to 2004, an average of only one to 12 landslide events a year was being reported. And then about 2015, uh, the increase was exponentially greater. It was, uh, much greater so that, there was a huge jump in the landslides in numbers, like in maybe in the hundreds. Oh, wow. And, right, they have since taken that data down. And other end times uh, people who do like what I'm doing have noted that that data has been taken down. Um, you can only imagine why they would not have that up anymore. But I also have included at the very top of the page, there are multiple scriptures that correlate with these events that say, you know, that these are things that are are future tense going to happen. And in fact, they are happening now. Isn't that incredible? God never disappoints. No. When he says something's going to happen, it happens. Exactly. Exactly. So um, what about the floods? Boy, right. we've been seeing a right. lot of flooding lately. Well, that would be lately, but this has been going on for uh, the last few years. Um, this, let me see if I can find the date when we established this page. Sometimes they say, uh, yeah, the page was created actually June 5th of 2016. And like the other pages, it starts with the words end times and then floods. Now, it was about 2016 and then on that I realized that there was something going on in the world that was not normal. And that was, again, an increase of flooding. But it wasn't um, specific to any continent. It was all continents. And... I also noted that um, the news was not covering this and the Christians, therefore, were not knowing it because they tend to just follow television news 
to get their news. And this story was being buried by the news. But again, if you were to go to this page and scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page back to 2016, you would be amazed about what's going on in the world around you. And um, you may not have a flood in your own backyard or a fire, but I'm telling you right now, uh, God is doing things in the world in the way of um, these natural disasters. I want to add that there are multiple uh, causes for flooding. It could be uh, there was a dam break somewhere. It could be from hurricane activity, like we are witnessing right now with Ida. Um, again, this is fantastic what happened with Ida. The fact that Ida came up and came into the coast and did major damage in Louisiana and then actually moved over land and continued to do further damage in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York, which was unbelievable. This is a move of God, and, um, you know, God controls weather. Yeah, we have lots of scripture to support that. Yeah, just as it were in the days of Noah, so there shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. So basically, you know, and just as it were in the days of Lot, so shall it be Mm -hmm. in the days of the Son of Man. So this is a major sign of Jesus coming. It will be as it were in the days of Noah. What was it like in the days of Noah? Well, they, the people, God said that it repented him so much for making man because the people in those days were thinking evil continually. But because of technology, we're seeing a lot of evil these days. And, and therefore, we're also seeing floods, just as it were in the days of Noah. So, right. um, yeah. Exactly. Luke twenty one twenty five says, And there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Amen. Yeah, and we're beginning to see that. It's an uptick, like I said, of major uh, proportion. And I've been watching this specifically about 2015 on, on this particular page. And I have to tell you, there is an increase in flooding. And the last couple of years, I have called it the year of the homeless. Because the floods that's going on around all over the world is creating so much homelessness. People are losing their homes um, through fire and floods and other uh, catastrophic events, you know, tornadoes. And uh, it's incredible how many people have been displaced out of their homes around the world. Because of these natural disasters. Right, right. I mean, we're talking flooding that's covering large uh, areas of land and communities in India, Africa, China, all over the place, uh, and now America. That's right. And you won't hear about those other places so much on the news. You know, you'll hear about the United States, you'll hear about Ida, but you won't hear about these other places. In fact, I believe that there was a major flooding, I want to say, recently in Spain. Oh, yeah. Well, not just Spain, but all over Europe. Um, So I absolutely implore uh, you to go to this page. And uh, like I said, the pictures don't lie. It's it's extraordinary. And if you can see all these pages that we uh, continually update, I, I don't know how you could possibly think we're not in the end times. Amen. So, um, Susan, what about the animal deaths? Right. Uh, We have a page that we've dedicated to that, and it's called End Times Mass Animal Deaths. And you just enter that into, uh, again, like I said, we always use that front words, uh, End Times, and then follow it with uh, Mass Animal Deaths. And uh, I've been working on this for quite a while, this particular page. Uh, Again, it had to do with noticing trends and the trend was the animals dying all over the place um and there are a whole number of reasons there's 
uh, disease uh, that's attacking. Uh, there's like a bird flu that's killing mass numbers of birds. Uh, there's also uh, uh, animals are dying in floods. Uh, about a billion animals died in the Australian fires. There was about a billion that died in the superheated area of Canada this year, this summer. And there's uh, animals coming in to all the shores uh, everywhere, dead in the oceans. And not just oceans, but um, the land, rivers, and areas. So it's not, it's not just saltwater water fish it's fresh water also i came to realize that right before the fukushima event that hit in japan uh the oceans were down about 50 percent on something called phytoplankton phytoplankton is that small microscopic organisms that feed a lot of animals including fish uh and our whales, uh, seal, pups, um, you know, and all, all these kinds of animals, turtles, uh, all exist on phytoplankton, like a whale, for instance, and dolphins and porpoises. Uh, will, the whale will open his mouth and scoop up a large amount of phytoplankton. But we were down a long time ago, and then Fukushima hit. And Fukushima is a real problem. Uh, we're not 100% convinced that they're not putting all that poison in the water. In fact, I believe that that's what's going on. The ocean currents are not static. They're dynamic. Uh, they take that poison all over. Plus, there's a lot of other pollution that we uh, have created. And what is happening is the animals, uh, the mammals, the ocean mammals, uh, like the seal pups are coming into shore uh, with their rib cages showing because why? Because uh, I believe the phytoplankton is being decimated, and not only that, uh, not just Fukushima, but also the ocean temperatures are rising. Uh, the planet is getting hotter, and the ocean temperatures are rising, and I believe it's also has an effect on the phytoplankton. Turtles are coming into shore completely just decimated. No, no sign of food, rib cages showing, all of that sort of thing on the seal pups and everything. And they're finding some of these animals with their stomachs full of plastic and garbage that they're eating in place of what is natural for them to eat. That is heartbreaking. Now, yeah, it's heartbreaking. And so what is the bottom line about all of this? The bottom line is back. we go back to Scripture. And the Scripture in the Bible uh, gives the explanation of what is going on. And it's clear. It's right in Hosea. And it's uh, chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. And I'm going to read it. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field. And with the fowls of the heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. And um, I just want to mention something that the Lord revealed to me is that he began his ministry uh, about when he was 30, the Bible said. And uh, as we recall, he went to um, the disciples and they were fishermen. That's right. And remember, Peter um, was doubting Jesus, but when Jesus said, you know, throw your net in, and he pulled all those fish out, and that's when Peter knew that he was dealing with someone who was not uh, normal, mm -hmm. somebody different, and that he was God. 
And uh, that was the Lord show me that was the beginning of his ministry was when there was a, a bounty of fish. But if you see now in these pictures, if you go to this page and scroll down, you're going to see the fish are dying everywhere. It's the absolute opposite. It's because this world has rejected God. It's a rejection of not of Jesus Christ. That's right. And that is what we are witnessing. And the sin, the major sin, and people are not repenting. No, no, no. And this is going to be the result. Now, over six years ago, a guy named John Michael Cousteau, and maybe some people know uh, his father, who was famous, Jacques Cousteau, one of the first to do underwater filming, and was famous for that. John Michael Cousteau said that the wrong species was introduced to a coral reef and it completely destroyed the entire reef. So he went on to say that the ecosystems were so fragile that even the smallest imbalance could throw off an entire ecosystem. So what then could be the mass, the mass animal die-offs of biblical proportion mean to the planet and humans if that's the case? And so it means that our end is closing in and that the Lord is coming back soon and the church needs to prepare itself for what lies directly ahead. That's right. People need to prepare. People need to tell other people about Jesus. Exactly. So I implore you to take a few minutes of your day to go to these pages and check them out. Go down. There's not a whole lot. You don't have to read every article, but just, you know, just scroll down through it. I think you're going to be amazed even if you just take time to, to read the headlines. And I, like I said earlier, I will make sure to leave the links that we spoke about today underneath this video so that you guys can go and um, check it out when you have time. But Susan, I want to thank you for your time today and coming on the show and um, giving us all of this very important information and resources. Well, thank you so much for having me and allowing me to share uh, this information. Uh, we want so badly for people to um, come to these resources, utilize them for educating people that we are, in fact, in the end times. Time is swiftly running out. And for them to share it with others and um, like the page and follow the page and share it with others. That's right. Share as much as you can, you guys. There is not enough people out there that know the truth and what's really happening and how close Jesus is to returning. You know, to us, for, for the people that are watching the signs, he's not going to come as a thief in the night, but to those who are not watching. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, but thank you again, Susan. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And I will talk to you soon. God bless everybody. 